Now in your path as a novice magician, especially if you have taken the time to listen and practice all previous 72 video lessons and magical keys, it is now time for you to wield your first formula. You will set the cause or not. You will set conditions of difference and induce change within energy and or matter. You will experience the emergence of the appearance. I want you to choose an activity that you normally and easily do. Something that has a thousand percent probability of precision outcome. It could be making a sandwich. It could be playing a little song if you are an instrumentalist. It could be tidying up a space in the house. It could be taking a walk from your home to a specific destination. Any type of activity is fine. It needs to be relatively brief in time. It needs to be something you are familiar doing, nothing new. It needs to be something that always concludes with success, something thoughtlessly easy. Something with a pretty low desire charge, in the sense that it doesn't matter too much if you accomplish it. It just is what it is. For example, making a sandwich is something that most people can do without any fail in it at all. Completely undoubtable. I want a sandwich. I make that sandwich. Voila, there's a sandwich now in my life. End of sentence. Once you've chosen an activity... Slow down within it a bit and understand the magical formula in terms of that activity. Take half a second before you begin the activity to set your knot. There's not a sandwich. I desire a sandwich. As you make the sandwich or whatever activity you chose, note how you interact with elements. Open up to the life force within the elements you are manipulating. That is the bread, the lettuce, the mayo, etc. Really sense a connection, the conversation, the hearing, the knowledge, the requests, and the affinity you have with what you are doing and what you are doing it with that you may not have recognized before because you were so practiced with this activity that it became easy and without thought or conscious direction. Note the change and the difference, or more likely a series of changes, that you direct within the world undoubtedly to result in the emergence of the appearance of the sandwich. Be open to understand the connections and wielding taking place in your activity as an application of a language understood by the elements in the activity, a language they are responding to. They are responding to you. Note how your eye, your hand, your voice may play a part in your chosen activity. Take half a second to note the appearance of the sandwich in the world whereas a few minutes before, there was none. Notice that you had complete trust in yourself and in the world as you shepherded the calling of the sandwich, or of whatever appearance you chose. When you are ready to eat the sandwich, or whatever activity you chose, also be deliberate about immersion. Enjoy what your magic produced. Slow down and enjoy eating. And also see that enjoyment of the appearance as a connection to life force. You know that when you were tiny, walking was an obstacle to overcome for a little while. Now walking is natural. It's an undoubtable part of being human. I want you to know that magician, like walking is a natural stage for all humans. It's not something unnatural that you are introducing into your body and life path. Your body, your life, naturally are prepared to become the magician. It's part of the human progression. 
I invite you to do this little drill, and it is a novice drill from time to time. That is, choose an easy activity or appearance and do it, but be more conscious of the magical formula in it. I'm going to tell you why this is an important novice drill. If you really were my novice and I was the mentor magician, I would give these instructions without explanation so that your body could learn without the interference of your mind. However, I know that I am often curious about what's behind things, so I am glad to satisfy your curiosity as well, and I trust that my explanation will not interfere with your body's drill. Keeping in mind that your body is what wields magic, the eye, the hand, the voice, the elements in your body have influence over the elements outside one's body that belong to other beings. Here is what this drill does for you. It is not so much that you are practicing calling an appearance, because these activities are appearances you already know how to call. What you are emphasizing for yourself is a habit of agreement and undoubtableness in your nervous system, that it is and becomes a habit for you to drop an intention, a knot, and then in a brief amount of time and straightforward changes induce an appearance. That this level of precision and trust is neutral for you. When you understand all your world activity as the calling of appearance, and it is neutral and straightforward, then this neutrality can be the ground for newer things you may try in the future. So this drill is less about the appearance and more about the development of and making a habit of your magician's stance and your magician's state of continued purification of your energy. I hope that makes sense. After doing many drills like this relating to your general life, you may wish to do a couple other iterations of this drill. First, if in your chosen art there is a simple activity of this nature, that is, some activity or appearance you are already able to do within your chosen art, then drill with that. Second, eventually, not too soon, but eventually, either in general life or in your chosen art, choose something new that you haven't done before. But this new choice must still be very, very easy, nothing so far above your skills. Something slightly out of the ordinary of your habits, yet something that can be accomplished with no trouble of any kind. And again, slow down into the formula with it and experience a trustful and neutral stance with doing something new. All right, let's continue learning magic in the next video.